guys in this video we will be learning ilog function in python so i am using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer right before getting started with any of the implementation you have to install pandas library on your computer ilog function allows you to access a specific rows and columns of a data frame by providing the integer based indices let's implement it right first we have to import pandas we will be creating sample data frame to use ilog function so i have some code handy to save some time so this is one dictionary okay it has three columns and three rows right what is the type of this object then you will get it's a python dictionary right if you're in the program so it will show you it's a python dictionary right so with help of this dictionary we will be creating a data frame and then on this data frame we will be performing select operation with help of ilog function okay so first let's create a data frame that would be data frame we have to pass on dictionary right it will create a new data frame right if you want to get the type of this object we can print it as well then the program so one new data frame is created in the output window you see we have days sales country okay we have three columns and three rows so this is showing the index of each row right so we'll be using this index with ilog function okay so let's see first index of ilog function okay so i have some statement right the syntax of ilog function if you see it's a data frame right it's a ilog function if you notice here so we have two parameters over here one this is the one parameter this is the second parameter right rows index is this this one zero two two and the column index we have default zero one and two let me remove it as you can see it's a data frame uh, for example i want to get two rows and all columns then in this case what we'll do we have data frame dot i log function and then we will be using from where we want to start so we want to start with zero index and we want to end let's say two and for column we want all column okay so if you do not specify anything so we have to use this brackets by mistake i've taken this so i want this row and then we'll be printing s1 okay so what i log function will return it will return two rows all columns right means we will be getting two rows and all three columns you run the program so you will get a zero and one these are two row right this argument specifies the integer position of ending rows for selection right ending rows is ending rows number is two it means we are getting two rows if you make it three so it will return all three rows right okay you get all three rows if you do not provide anything still it will give you all rows right you see if i want to get only one means i will be starting from zero and i would be ending on two right means days and sales column would be returning right if you're in the program so we will getting only one row with two columns you see okay so that is how it works this and row specifies the integer position of ending row similarly this specify the integer position of the ending column right not this way 0 1 2 right not this way so it's a ending position of the column it's a ending position of the row okay right if you want to make one so it will give you sales okay if you want to make it one then it will give you only single column right let's say if you want to select the specific row and a specific column value then this can also be done with the help of log function so we will be taking s2 and then data frame i log first row and first column okay which means it will give us the second row and this second column right this value would be printed for 55 right if you're in the epigram so you will get the value as 455 okay we have one more case with ilog function that is the step right to slice rows and columns from data frame you can use ilog function with a step value for rows and column position right okay so how we can do it new object 
data frame dot i log right so we'll be using all rows all columns we are saying as a first argument of i log we are saying starting row would be zero it will print till end but the second column means we are taking a step right i want every second row okay similarly second argument i want to start column from zero to the end right but another column i want all columns to be stepped with some number that's a two so every two columns it will print the output will be it will print this row it will print this first row and third row as a column it would print this column and this column right so if you print s3 you will get the output okay if you see we are getting first row right we are getting first row and we are getting third row right this row and for column we are getting first column and third column because we are saying the step is two for both row and column if i make another column more so i have added new column and even i want to add one more row right and this is fourth row for us right if you want to add one more column right reason and code right so i have added one row add two new columns so now let's run the program you will you will see the output as per this statement right we have five columns and four rows okay every second row right means every second row here one two right in the column we are getting each second column right so one two one two and then code right so these columns are eliminated if you want every third column you want okay if you're in the program so every third means one two three so this third okay so this is how i log function works the last thing if you want to apply a, a lambda expression okay or lambda function with i log function so that can also possible right if you want to get only those rows which where index is even as four i'm taking we have to say lambda and then we have to pass on the parameter that is row and we are saying x dot index and we are applying the formula to get even number so it will give you the rows where index value is even okay if you print s4 then you will get only two rows right so you see zero and two index right zero and twos because their value is even okay if you want to say like it should not even so we will be getting one and third row of this index right if you're in the program again so you are getting one and three so this is how i log function works we have seen how to create a data frame with help of dictionary we have seen how we can use slicing with help of i log function and then we see how we can use lambda expressions in i log function okay that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video